Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. And if you can't tell, it is marathon day. One of the greatest things about selling watches and having a YouTube channel is that I can do a video like this and it's not sponsored content, even though I'm ensconced in marathon in a shirt in two watches. I might have two rubber duckies somewhere behind me. Today, yes, we are talking about the Marathon Jeep Collaboration Watch, or it's a Jeep Marathon Collaboration. Jeep's name is actually first on the collab. I, we're gonna go over it. There are four watches in the collection. I'm only showing you one today, because that's all I have, the Rubicon G-Star. There is also, so the G-Star is that 41 millimeter classic uh, WW194006 watch. They also made a T-Star, which is the Quartz version, the seven. And then they have two smaller officers' watches. Uh, one's a quartz and one is a uh, hand cranker. And when I get those in, I will do those as well. But for now, I want to go over the one watch on my own wrist. On one wrist, I am wearing the Marathon Islander collaboration, white dial, blue tritium tube navigator, beautiful. And on my other wrist, the Anthracite G-Star on the anthracite bracelet. What a stealth looker. Let's see the Jeep stuff. So uh, Jeep and Marathon, unlikely bedfellows? Not really, if you think about it. Uh, Jeep 19, or early 1940s, 1941, military vehicles. Um, and Marathon watches for the military. Uh, Marathon watch founded in the late 30s. Its history goes back further than that, but late 30s, uh, 1939. So they've been around for around the same amount of time, and they both originally made stuff for the military. So it's a really, really cool um, joining of forces, if you will. And I'll just take a second to say that uh, the Jeep crowd, or the Jeep fan base, is much larger than the Marathon fan base. So. I really like what Marathon is doing, trying to get more people into the watch fan base. So that's what they're doing, a la what Seiko did in 2019, 2020 with the five. And they made it more colorful and they tried to invigorate the youth into it. So I want to, hello, aren't these cute? Uh, a, a quick note, Marathon Direct, if you buy your Jeep a buy marathon watch from them, I believe is giving a rubber ducky to everybody. I am not, I just got these for the video. So that's a little benefit if you wanna buy your watch from them instead of us. I, don't, I really don't care. I just like doing the publicity for them because they're an awesome company. Uh, so let's go. So it's not just a simple call up like, hey, like, hey, let's slap the name on it and be done. I want to go over the packaging because, well, this is Marathon standard packaging as of late. Um, it's these tins. But even the tin itself has the Jeep grill and headlights uh, embossed into it. A special fold over um, with a little uh, what, topographical map on it. And then, as I said in the open, we're only looking at uh, one of the four models. So this is the most popular one that what they, you know, what we call the GSAR uh, government search and rescue watch. But even the manual, even the fold over paper that holds the manuals together, it's got the top uh, topographical map and also, and it's got Jeep's uh, signature motto, go anywhere, do anything, engineered for the field. Not for your display case, uh, a little picture of a Jeep there. You, you slip this off. Oh, maybe I'll just slip out the manual. I don't want to rip anything. And the manual itself is even specially done for this model, the Rubicon G-SAR 41 millimeter watch. So nifty that they did that. And uh, of course, I believe the side's in French, right? More than likely. There you go, yeah, French and English. And then you get the, their three-piece strap, which we'll go over. All that stuff. So this is the watch. And if you're familiar with the G-SAR, then you do know the watch. Really quick, uh, the strap, they do include an extra long part in case your wrists are monster size. You swap out the top tail for this piece, switch over the buckle, and you have yourself a longer strap. This is going to go up to monster wrist. Sorry, duckies. Here we go. Um, here, let's get this guy a little bit closer. So this is the, uh, I said the GSAR, so model number is WW194006SS, and then the Jeeps, they're given, here you go, 4101. Look at this serial number, guys, number four. Wow, and this is actually a unit for sale. I have four of them. I don't think I have one, two, three, and four. That would be insane, um, but who knows? 
We're going to wind it up. It's going to run on a Salida SW200 movement. And it's your standard GSAR. It's made by Marathon, made in Switzerland, tritium tubes. The only difference, it, the only differences are that, oh, you know what, let me get the hands out of the way, is that it's got the little Jeep Easter eggs um, throughout. So let's go, let's go over the watch and then we'll see the Easter eggs as we go along having fun. So it is a 41 millimeter case. Uh, it is 14 thick to that flat sapphire crystal. Look, there's your first Easter egg. They've uh, embossed or engraved the grill and the headlights again and filled it with black on the side of the case. Pretty cool. It is uh, 48.2 on the lug tip to lug tip. It is a solid screw down case back and it again has the Jeep markings. And since 1941, go anywhere, do anything. And then it's got the stuff that Marathon has to put on the back since they're military watches. You see it? You got it? Look at the nice, look at this beautiful strap, by the way. Swiss made, it's got the Marathon logo on it. Marathon name, uh, let's see, Marathon buckle. There it is, Marathon. Uh, flat sapphire crystal. Uh, olive drab. FKM rubber strap, 20 millimeter. It's a kit. 300 meters of water resistance. Weighs 123 grams. Uh, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. I believe I was off by a, a tiny click before. Sorry about that. And then when we come up on the dial. So we do see that it is um, Jeep branding is on top. And then we have the marathon name on the bottom. Automatic 26 joules. Let's get that little speck of dirt out of the way. Oh, wait. It's not dirt, is it? It's not dirt. This is what happens when you get old. It is actually the Jeep registered trademark symbol. Uh, I couldn't even, <laughs> I can't even see with my eyes. I'm getting old. Uh, so we have the date tucked away between the four and the five o'clock. And then we have a little um, ode to early dashboards with uh, like, like a tachometer, um, like a tactile. Uh, zero to 15 is in red. Looks really nifty. And of course, it is a tritium dial, so you have H3, which is the isotope of hydrogen that is in the gaseous tubes, and you have the radiation symbol because in each of these 12 tubes around the dial, and then the tubes on the three hands, there is a tritium gas inside. Uh, the tubes themselves have a phosphor phosphorescent coating on the inside. As the tritium gas decays, it releases a particle. The particle collides with the phosphorus. The phosphorus glows and creates visible light that you and I can see as green or orange or whatever. And then they do have a little, the bezel triangle is loomed. It is Mariglow, which is a passive illumination. Really aggressive knurling on the crown. It is wonderful. Speaking of the crown, you have the Willy Star, which is again from early Jeep days on the crown. Another little Easter egg. What's really great about uh, what Marathon's doing here as well is that they are charging the same amount for this watch um, as they do their normal GSAR. So $1,500 retail, $1,350 or so street price. Uh, so what that means to me is that they obviously could have charged more. I'm sure they're paying Jeep a licensing fee of some sort. Uh, so they are eating that fee in order to make the watch more accessible to everybody and not elevate it out of their standard lineup. I think it's really great. Uh, get more watches out there. So you told me you'd do it before, but you, un you unscrew the crown, wind it for your 40 dollars power reserve. Again, a Salida SW200 movement. Put out two clicks to change the time, one click two clicks to change the time. And again, whoa, there we go. One click to change the date. Just push it back down and turn and don't get your glove stuck for your full 300 meters of water resistance. Uh, Marathon does make a bracelet for this watch that will fit. Islander, I have to say, also makes a bracelet for this watch. It's our BRAC dash, oh my goodness, nine zero. Um, I'm pretty sure. If I have to correct it, I'll put a little note up that fits the watch. This is the GSAR. There is also a TSAR coming out, which is the quartz operated version and then two officers watches. And I will do another video when those watches come out. For now, let's put this on. So you really have to wear these to understand how they fit. They are tall watches from a side profile. At 14 millimeters, not overly tall, but you know, they are cut square but they fit really, really nice. And, and I've said this before in other videos, these 36 millimeter watches, 36 millimeter versions of the GSAR, which is um, 
www.194026027 are the most often returned watches um, because people underestimate the 41 or overestimate, I should say, the 41 and don't realize that the 41 fits so many wrists so well. But here it is, below the bone, above the bone, whatever bone floats your bone. Uh, so here's the strap. There I am on my six and a half, six and three quarter. Play room in both ways, but again, if you had monster wrists, you would put the longer piece here on, and then you'd go even further on the tail. But beautiful. Let's see. Let's see the tritium loom. Well, shiver me timbers there, Marathon. I did not know you did this. So the one to 12 and the triangle on the bezel are done in Mariglow, as is the Jeep logo. So that is um, photoluminescence. So that's absorbing light, um, and then it slowly gives it off, and it will die as time goes on. Within five, 10 minutes, that'll probably be fairly dim. And then the tritium markers that you see um, next to the numbers, one through 11 in green, and above the 12 in orange, and then on the hands in green, will take over and will be extremely, extremely visible and bright. You wake up at three in the morning with adjusted eyes and you look at this thing. And I've had marathons out on my dresser. And when you walk past the middle of the night, they look like flashlights. And I think that's going to do it for us. So this is the Jeep Marathon Collab. Again, the Jeep crowd is a tremendous, tremendous crowd, much larger than the marathon crowd. And we need to get more people into this thing that we call watches. And what a great entry, quack quack. This is going to be for them. This has been Mark from LongIWatch.com. Checking out the Jeep Marathon GSAR Rubicon. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, anything else you wanna say, put it down below. I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.